what's the takeaway that you felt that coming all along? You're frustrated you didn't, you didn't get it going through? I think we were probably pretty poor on third down in the first half without looking at anything. I don't, um, but that's my initial thought is we've got to find a way to stay on the field early in the game. So. Yeah, sometimes the two-point two conversion play is kind of what you saw. And... Yeah, I thought uh, I was thinking it was going to have to be a play extension. Um, and then I saw the linebackers back turn on Mark. Um, and I thought that was a pretty good chance to to get one there. But I think, you know, without having looked at it, I think it's either got to give him a better throw or extend the play and something something weird happens, you know. What read was that? Uh, that was just Mark, you know, that's the first guy in our progression on that play. So. How frustrating is the penalty on the two-point conversion that backs you up, though? Yeah, it hurts. Uh, obviously, you know, down there it gets loud. Um, you know, there's some movement. There's a lot of communication that happens. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's certainly if you're on, you know, going for it on the two versus on the seven, it's probably a little. The the odds are probably a little better there. Did something feel different or click different in the fourth quarter? Did you start to feel it a little bit at that point? Uh, yeah, I think just staying on the field. Like I said, you know, when you. Um, if you don't stay on the field, everybody says, oh, we're not in a rhythm. And, you know, one drop gets gets magnified um, here and there. But um, when you stay on the field and you convert third downs or whatever it is and you get some chunk plays, everybody everybody feels good. But uh, you got to stay on the field to get more plays, and usually good things happen. Do you have any common theme on third downs that, that you guys can pinpoint? No, I, I think early they were, you know, definitely challenging us and made some big plays, um, but just weren't consistent enough. Uh, yeah, weren't consistent enough. Is it fair to say that the last couple of weeks you guys have been kind of getting in the wrong way at times? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're, we can be as good as we want to be. Um, but yeah, I think we're close, but that's, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Trevor Van Dippen is not there without Alvin. Yeah, he's a difference maker, and uh, he's got to be accounted for on every snap. So, um, yeah, I think Mark played really well. Um, but yeah, I'll, yeah. Alvin, you know, changes the changes the game a little bit. Did you guys do anything to neutralize their pass rush in the second half? It seemed like it was less disruptive uh, on the offense. Yeah, I think uh, once they got up, they were playing a little more coverage, um, and the offensive line I thought played well all day. So, um, you know, when they're playing coverage, they're not disrupting the timing of the routes, um, and there's a little more rhythm to the passing game. But you know, when they're challenging you and uh, disrupting the timing, sometimes you got to hold the ball longer and. Uh, push the ball down the field, so maybe that's what it looked like. Trevor, you guys are, you guys have talked this all year about playing without injured players. Mm -hmm. um, but when this happens, like, like it, how much does it does it make it harder when you guys are, are dealing with a couple of missed extra points or a fumble? Or yeah, a I think injuries. You, you know, I think. You don't want to focus on injuries because everybody's doing the same thing. I think Tennessee was pretty banged up too, so um, that's just the point of the season, the NFL season. Um, you know that's why it's the strength of the team and not just individual players. So I, I think we still got a really good team, and uh, uh, we're going to get it fixed. What was Sean's message to the team after this one? Yeah, just details. You know, these just these details we got to clean up here and there. Um, you know, the game played out. How, how we thought it would uh, to a certain extent. We just, you know, a couple details that got to get cleaned up. There's, you know, there's not much margin for error. You said it's, it's close. Are, are you seeing, and, and you said you've got a good team. Are, are you seeing enough to sort of give you confidence going forward, even if it wasn't great this week? Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, we got a good team. Um, and, yeah, this is the NFL. You're not, you're not blowing people out. You're not, you know, Winning by three, four scores every week. You know the margin for error is next to nothing, and um, these uh, these games, you know, whatever percent of them come down to one possession at the end. Um, and if you slip up on a few details, this, you know, this is what happens. Is there any part of like your fourth quarter that it, now it's been two and a half games that you've actually been able to find some kind of personal rhythm, maybe? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I've I've played you know three weeks in a row now, so. You know, I feel like I'm a starter at this point, so um, that part's good. But yeah, that would that that part happened organically, probably midway through last game. So.
Anything else for Trevor? Thanks, guys. Thanks, Trevor. Safe travel. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Trevor. Yeah.